Am I going to unbox one of these dolls? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Let's stick around. We're going to look at reasons why people unbox vintage or reproduction. Vintage or reproduction dolls. Let's get started. Like I'm not, there are several different reasons why people may unbox a reproduction or a vintage doll. I'm going to go over those, not in any particular order. So I've got this nice number four ponytail that I got. Someone sent me a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, and I have, yes, I got Poodle Parade and it's the original vintage one. But I even got the purse and, oops, upside down, and the Poodle Parade certificate. So how do I finish my vintage collection? I just don't have the money to spend on all those little items. What to do, what to do. Let me think, let me think. Ah, idea. I know. I bought this at a estate sale, yard sale for five eight dollars at the most Let's open it oh yeah sounds like a great idea so that's a good reason to unbox a reproduction doll i didn't put it on the ponytail i had this fashion queen midge and i just wanted to have her this long blonde wig so the shoes which can be kind of expensive in the original so she's got reproduction shoes a oh, little spot on the leg right there Archip, glasses, dicky, trophy. Purse, where'd the purse go? Found it. Purse, and then the little cards inside, it's all original. Um, so what do you think? How does Midge look in the poodle parade? She just needs her little poodle. So I retied her, her kerchief. I had it on tied under her head. I like it better like this with the glasses on her head. You can see her cute little face better. I don't know why this, if you know, maybe it shrunk when I cleaned it. It's a little longer than the original dress. Is that normal? If you know if that's normal, let me know. I'm trying to stretch it out just a little bit more. I think that's kind of working. I didn't like it being longer, shorter than the dress. But um, yeah, I just, I, just, I just wanted to throw that in there. Get on there. And um. Uh, now I'm left with the ugly reproduction American girl. Well, I thought she was ugly. She's not as ugly as I thought. You got to wait to the end. I got this adorable little outfit I'm going to put on her and she's going to make this transformation. Oh, you got to see it. You got to see it. Superstar Barbie. This is not a reproduction. This is the original. She says like. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what you're watching, if you like my content. Isn't she just beautiful? I have some more videos on her if you want to watch them. Be sure to ring that bell also so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks, Barbie. I unbox some of the reproductions. I'm going to be unboxing this one. Not today, but I am going to be unboxing this one. And the reason I'm going to unbox this one is the reason that I would unbox an, another all. Oh, reproduction doll is because I ha don't have the original outfit and I do not have this original outfit. I'm going to show you what an original looks like right here. I got this from a fellow dolly lover on Instagram that sent me these pictures of this wedding day outfit. You can see right here how fragile and there's a little hole right here. This one doesn't seem to have all the sequence and the designs as the reproduction. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Like I said, I've never seen an original in person. But I want to show you the pretty part of this is, look at this. Look at this. Having all these little flower inlays over the dress. And let's look at the back. Look at the back. This is the pretty part of this dress is the train in this really veil material with all these little inlaid flowers. It's just stunning. It's gorgeous. I want the original, but I don't know if I'll get it. So that's why I'm going to be unboxing. Thanks for these pictures so much. If you want to follow um, this Instagram, or I'll put the name right up here on the screen.
Thanks so much again. Another reason is just the opposite. You don't want the outfit, which I do, but you want the doll. Yes, you want this beautiful reproduction. Maybe you're collecting all reproductions and you want the reproduction out of the box because you have something you want to dress her in. Or you have this original outfit and you don't want to spend the money on how much an original ponytail costs. So you'll put the original outfit on the reproduction. Vice versa, you know, mix and match. That's that's good reasons to open reproduction dolls. eBay. People want to open some of them and sell the individual parts, like I said, because people want the individual parts and they don't want to pay for the new parts or they just want one little piece from them. So some people do open these just to resell the individual pieces, piece by piece on eBay. I have one of these for sale on eBay myself right now, some of the pieces, because I have the original, but it didn't have this little dicky right here, and it didn't have those original. Um, she's got an olive green shoe, if you can see it right there. See the olive green shoe, those are hard to find. I don't have that. So I'm keeping those two for my other one. I'm going to keep this one in the box, just so I have it in the box, since, since I had two of them, and I got it for a great price. Another reason people open vintage dolls, but mostly newer dolls like this one, but sometimes a vintage, this is like a vintage 90, is because you have started a YouTube channel like me and you want to open a, a doll and review it for an audience who wants to see it open. That is a good reason, but please don't open those really expensive ones just for YouTube. Please don't do that. So I've mostly been talking about reproduction dolls, why you should open a reproduction doll. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of why not to, just for a second here, not to open something. That not to open one would just be because you like them in the box, you want to keep them in their perfect condition, and maybe in 50 years they'll be worth a lot of money. But now let's talk about the real oh. Uh, Vintage dolls. This is my 1970 Malibu Barbie that has never been opened. And this is a 1975 Ballerina that has never been opened. Now, these boxes are kind of, you can sort of kind of open these without opening them, but you may tear the box. And I'm just not going to do that today. But why would you ever open these? Well, there would be one reason to open these, and that's just because you only live once. You want to see a mint doll out of the box, and you don't care about the cost. That's the only reason I can think of. Mine, oh no, I won't be opening them. I have a lot of dolls that's really close to mint. They're looks mint. I don't have I don't have a ballerina that looks this good, but she's gonna stay in her box. Yeah, she's gonna be in there quite a while, as long as I'm alive, I guess. And um, she will be also. So that's the only reason I can think of to debox a vintage doll. I would never debox one uh, made in the 70s, 80s, uh, it's iffy, depends on how much they're worth. 90s, I have deboxed some of those. Uh, but some people don't even like to debox the 90s dolls. But it's it's a personal preference where you debox or keep your box dolls in a box, but this is just a couple of reasons. These are the few reasons I could come up with what makes sense to debox the reproductions, vintage. No, nah, I can't come up with a good reason other than you only live once. And the moment if you've been watching, you've been waiting for is my original Reproduction that was in the Poodle Parade outfit. Never been really fond of this doll with the Poodle Parade outfit on the reproduction, but I found this cute little outfit. Look at this. This is satin blue with a button. I think this is a homemade outfit. I'm not sure. It had no no labels in it, and it does look homemade. But they did such an excellent job. Wait, do you see? It? Let's let's get her in this part. So here's my American girl with this light pink satin 
jumpsuit. It snaps in the back. It's looking really good. Her face is looking good. But this part is what's going to make it so cute. Let's see it on her. Here she is. She's got it almost on. It's got this belt that's made out of the satin that wraps around her waist. Let me give that a nice big tie. And I've got some cute accessories that's going to just set this outfit off. I was thinking about selling this doll with this outfit. And then I got it on her and I'm like, oh no, this is just too cute. I cannot sell this. It's so pretty. But wait, I got a couple of things to add with it. Of course, she needs some shoes. So let's just pop her on a little pair of light pink shoes. That's looking cute. But let's see if we can add something else. Just a little bit cuter. So I went through my stuff and I found these little white plastic clone glasses. So I popped the little cat eye glasses on her face. Isn't that adorable? So I popped a little pair of cat eye glasses on her. These are little plastic clone glasses. I just love this satin underneath here. It's such a beautiful pink color. And I found this little necklace. I got this in a big haul, one of my biggest hauls I've ever got on eBay. If you want to watch that, um, I'll put a link to it right here. Look at this necklace. This is an original. Oh, I have seen some of these for sale on eBay. So I'm like, why don't I just drop this over her head? I should have put the glasses on last. Don't look the glasses off. Careful, careful, careful. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love this on her. She's looking so adorable. Now, this sort of reminds me of like an evening type lingerie sitting at home when they used to dress in the 50s um even though these dolls came out in the 60s her hair's got a little bit stacked there and then i thought a mirror look at this little plastic mirror to pop in her hand so I'm, and to die here she is with her necklace her outfit and her little cat eye glasses this is such a pretty pretty i don't know who made this um, it is vintage. It came in with a lot of things, but it's got this little lace down the front. And I just think this is adorable. I love it. What about you? Tell me in the comments below what you think about this outfit. Isn't this American Girl Pretty Parade Barbie just spectacular now? And this is my Peaches and Cream. And she, I got her unboxed. I didn't unbox her. She's not a reproduction. She is the original and boy is she a beautiful doll but she would just like to remind you to subscribe like my content give me a thumbs up comment below tell me if you have other reasons why you think you should debox unbox open however you want to call it a vintage or a reproduction doll did i miss some i know number four ponytail I didn't use you, and I've been promising to do something with you for about two years now, but at least for two Christmases. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. There's only one of me, and there's like 500 of you. So, yes, I'm going to be doing something with this beautiful number four ponytail soon as I can. So hang in there, and let's keep searching for those dolls and making those dolls beautiful and dressing up those dolls and and keeping them in good condition don't ruin your barbies and don't unopen them unless you really have to well that's all for today thanks for watching join me next time happy barbie hunting uh catch you later this is barbie love sign off